Good morning. Are you here for an appointment today? Yes, my daughter has an appointment. Okay, can I please have her name and date of birth? Sandra Sanchez, January 1st, 2006. Great. Can I have an identification and insurance card, please? Here you go. Thank you. Please fill out these highlighted areas and take a seat, and we'll be right with you shortly, okay? Thank you. I hate coming to the doctor. They always take so long. We just got here. And we've been here long enough. Hi, an appointment for Sandra? Finally. Good morning. Go ahead and follow me. Okay, Miss Sandra, go ahead and follow me. And then we'll have you go ahead and just sit up here on this table. Okay. Um, your nurse will be right in with you. A few moments later. How can I help you with this? Well, first of all, it's my acne. I've been um, struggling with it for a while now, and it's just mm -hmm. so annoying. I've been growing a lot of hair lately. I've been told it's normal for a girl my age, but it's in my chest and back, and I don't know if that's normal. We also noticed that our daughter has recently gained weight. She's always struggled with her weight, but she's been struggling with more recently. Honestly, if you ask me, I think it's puberty, but my daughter and wife seem to be worried. And I guess it's better to be safe than sorry, which is why we're here today. Like I said, I just hope we can get to the bottom of this. We hate to see our daughter in pain. Are there any tests that we can do to figure out what's going on? I'm also worried about something else, but I don't want my dad here when I say. This better not have name to do that punk Bobby. Can you just leave? I'll handle this. Alright, but I don't have to. I'll give that Bobby a good kick in the butt. Well, it has to do with my menstrual cycles. Um, based from what they told me at school, I don't think I'm very normal. Okay, Sandra, so you're saying that your periods are normal? Abnormal, excuse me? I think so. Well, I'm very sorry about that. Um, I know irregular menstrual cycles can be very stressful emotionally and physically. Um, could you please elaborate more about your um, irregular menstrual cycles? Um, when was your last menstrual cycle and how long was it for? Well, from what they told me at school, I know it's supposed to be every month, but I've been getting them like every two to three months, sometimes like six times a year, and it's a very light flow. My friends usually experience cramps, but I'm always in more pain where I just want to curl up in a ball and cry. It just hurts so much. I'm so sorry to hear that. Like I said earlier, my daughter's periods have always been really painful for her. We've tried a lot of methods like heating pads, over-the-counter ibuprofen, but lately they just don't seem to provide any relief for her at all. I'm very sorry that you're experiencing pain, Sandra. Um, Ms. Guadiana, I know as a mother it can be very hard for you to watch your daughter be in pain. Um, Sandra, can you describe um, this pain? Where is it located? Is it like a throbbing pain? Is it a stabbing pain? Well, it's very painful from what I think I know. Um, I believe they're cramps from what my friends say. Okay. Can you point um, to where the pain um, is located? And on a scale of 0 through 10, with 10 being uh, the worst pain, how would you rate your pain? Well, it's around this area, and I would say it's like an 8. It's very sharp and painful. So I'm very sorry to hear that, Sandra. That sounds very uncomfortable, and I will do my best to help you. Uh, but first, let me ask you some questions, but they might be a little more personal, okay? That's okay. Okay, Sandra, and have your periods always been irregular as you described to me? Yes, that's right. Okay, and I'm wondering, what type of birth control are you using? Uh, nothing. Okay, and this might be um, a little more personal, but are you sexually active? It's okay, just answer her honestly. Well, I have been getting closer to my boyfriend and we've had sex a couple of times. When you have intercourse, are you using uh, condoms? Well, we use condoms, but I don't know if that's a form of birth control. Okay, so I'm glad to hear that you're taking the steps to protect yourself. So condoms, when used properly, can help prevent unwanted pregnancy and STIs. Okay, thank you for letting me know. Now, um, do you notice any other time that you experience pelvic pain, or is it only strictly when you are menstruating? Well, now that you mention it, I do have some pain around this area, and it's not only on my period. It comes and goes also when I'm not on my period. Okay, well, thank you. That concludes our um, interview portion. So what I'm going to go ahead and do now is I'm just going to do a quick um, head-to-toe assessment, okay? Okay, sounds great. 
Let me know if there's any tenderness, okay? Oh, that hurts. Okay. Oh, that hurts again. Okay, okay, I'm sorry. Okay. I know this can be very, very hard on you, um, but I don't think you're uh, pregnant, but since you are sexually active, um, our nurse practitioner wants to rule that out. So if it's okay with you, um, we can go ahead and perform a pregnancy test just to rule it out, just to be on the safe side, and it doesn't take more than 10 minutes. Okay, that's okay. A few moments later... Hello. Hi. My name is Michelle. I'm the next practitioner today. Um, my nurse told me that you're experiencing some symptoms and we ran a pregnancy test. And the great news is that the pregnancy test did come back negative, um, just like we expected. Um, now, because of your sexual activity, we'd also like to test for STI. Is that okay? I heard that earlier. What's an STI? Uh, so an STI is a sexually transmitted infection. And you can get it in various ways. Uh, but I'd like to eliminate the possibility that you may have one. I know that you said you use condoms, but they're not always 100% uh, protective, okay? Uh, I would also like to order some blood work, do an ultrasound and a pelvic exam just to rule out any other maybe underlying conditions. Okay, the great thing is we can already use the urine that you've provided. Um, we will need to go ahead and get some blood work as well. With this, we can evaluate how well your body is working. Do you guys have any questions so far? Um, no, thank you. No. Okay, great. A few moments later. Um, we're going to go ahead and complete some studies that the nurse practitioner ordered, okay? Okay. Okay, just go ahead and follow me. So during a transvaginal ultrasound, um, I will insert a one-like device, a transducer, into the vagina while you lie on your back on an exam table. The transducer emits sound waves that generates images of your pelvic organs, including your ovaries. On an ultrasound image, a polycystic ovary shows many follicles. Each dark circle in the ultrasound image represents fluid-filled follicle in the ovary. So in the pelvic exam, I'm going to go ahead and insert two fingers into the vagina while simultaneously pressing down on your abdomen so that I can examine your uterus, ovaries, and other organs. Two hours later. Okay. Alright. The nurse practitioner will go ahead and be with you all shortly, okay? Okay, thank, thank, you. You. thank you. A few moments later. Um, great to see you again, Sandra. Hello. Um, we got your results in. Um, and we now know the cause of all your symptoms and pain. And you have polycystic ovary syndrome, also known as PCOS. What's that? Yeah, what is that? That sounds really serious and I'm very concerned for my daughter. Definitely. Um, I know it's very scary, but your worries are completely valid. I will explain everything to you as best as I can, okay? You. If you have any questions, just stop me and I'll be happy to answer them. Um, I know that polycystic ovary syndrome um, is a condition that affects about 6 to 15 percent of women in your age group that are of reproductive age. Um, the condition does cause irregular menstrual periods because monthly ovulation is not occurring. Um, ovulation is when the ovaries release an egg um, into the fallopian tube so that it can be fertilized with sperm. Uh, with PCOS, the male hormones, also called androgens, are elevated, so it can cause acne, um, irregular and infrequent periods, weight gain, trouble losing weight, and pelvic pain, all of which you are having. Um, PCOS can even cause excessive facial hair, hair loss, and fertility, high testosterone, fatigue, and when left unmanaged, it can lead to obesity, diabetes, and even sleep apnea. So how can we cure this and make my daughter feel better? Unfortunately, PCOS is not something that can be cured, but we can definitely manage, uh, manage the symptoms. Um, some of the options we have are getting Sandra on birth control, which will help regulate her periods. The birth control can sometimes help control the acne as well. Um, now, PCOS can predispose Sandra to type 2 diabetes, which is why she will need to live an active and healthy lifestyle um, and eat a well-balanced diet. Um, being active and having a balanced diet can also help with weight gain that she's been experiencing due to the PCOS. Um, it is important that you eat a, low diet, a diet low in inflammatory foods. Um, such as refined carbs and highly processed foods. 
You also want to increase your intake of uh, foods rich in protein, healthy fats, and fiber. Um, I will also prescribe metformin, which is a diabetic medication. And what this is going to do is help improve your insulin resistance and lower blood sugar. Um, PCOS can also cause high cholesterol, um, so, which Sandra does have based on her blood results. So I will start her on Lipitor today. Do you have any questions so far? So what about the extra hair growth on her body and the cramps? So to reduce the excessive hair growth, I can prescribe a medication called spironolactone, and what it's going to do is reduce the male hormone um, and the androgen, androgens that are causing um, the hair growth. Once her PCOS is managed and we get it under control, um, the pain should also dissipate as well. Okay, that's fine. I just want her to feel better. It really hurts me to see her in so much pain. I understand. Are these medications going to control my breakouts? Uh, so yes, Sandra, the birth control should help control the acne breakouts. It may take a little while before we find um, a birth control that works uh, for your body, but I'm going to go with you through this journey together um, so that way we can address that, okay? Mm -hmm. um, now, once you are ready to have children, um, it may be a little more difficult for you to get pregnant as, when you're older. Um, we can explore options such as progesterone therapy to help you ovulate and prepare you for pregnancy, okay? Okay, you had said something about infertility. What does that mean? So infertility just means it makes it a little bit harder for you to get pregnant, but I know you're not worried about that now, right? Okay, no, I don't want any kids yet. Good, Sandra, that is the right mentality to have. Do you guys have any other questions? No, not right now, but thank you so much for your patience. Thank you. Oh, no, you're very welcome. Um, so what I'm going to go ahead and do is send all the medication uh, prescriptions to the pharmacy.